2233 and maybe a cup of water with that please. Thank you so much. You too. Excuse me. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna need some things here. Six more hands. I know. When you have no friends, no. <laughs> Just for the moment. Right. All right, that was quick. Hello and welcome everyone to Thursdays live from Hollywood Studios to start. It's a short night here at Hollywood Studios. 9 p.m. Eastern close as well as an 8.30 Fantasmic only. What does that mean if you're an old pro of manning the parks or watching the streams? It means one show only is a crowded show. We're going to do the show. We just need to get in line early for that so it's going to be a short some short park action but welcome we're gonna have some fun so what are we gonna do besides that we're not gonna end the stream at like 9 15 or 9 30 no we're gonna head on to the skyliner and we're going to go from there over to boardwalk and check out some boardwalk guess we'll use the word action again see what's going on over there at boardwalk have a nice relaxing time over there and uh, see what we can see a little shopping uh, and whatever else we can get into over there I'm gonna right now I'm gonna sit down I was having a craving for one of my favorite things here for quick service which I will show you in a moment but there are there's no place to sit No place to sit at the Sunset Ranch Market. So what do we do as pros? We grab... A spot at a trash can. Quality dining. There it is. I'll introduce the food before myself. It's the good old coleslaw mashed potatoes boneless buffalo wings with a beautiful sweet sugar cone bowl what's up everybody I'm Corey I'm living in Diz manning the controls on my own tonight every time I say there's no one that's going to join me today someone joins me but to my knowledge no one is joining me this evening we've got the hat we're all Hollywood Studios out but we won't be here very long we're going to make the most of it. We're keeping it 100 with Mr. Incredible. So, welcome in, everyone. <laughs> if I dare do so, let's do a little bit of roll call. Let me jump into the correct stream on the personal phone. Let's say the absolute hellos to Disney Adventure Home. How's it going? Hey, we got to get down to talking uh, some dates here as I'm trying to now putting in family vacation time here this summer. So I would love to work you all in on that. Tracy R and Mom, Park Bros, Andy, Shannon Woods, Jacob Bonfiglio, Shannon Woods. Michael Daniel Ferguson, Ann Blue Polo, Timothy Smith, Courtney Marie, Chris Brown, Theo Sam Eagle, PDC. That sounds like you're like you're almost in trouble. Like I am going to report you to the PDC. <laughs> Fun stuff. 
Purple Pleasure, Alicia, Scott Ranky. Tiger Girl. Welcome, everyone. How in the heck did we get here? How did we get here? I'm at Hollywood Studios eating off a trash can all by myself with an amazing channel and live stream. How did I get here? It just happens. It just happens. Let's give this a try, though. This is so good. Look at that goodness. Do you know what I rate this? I might have to try this for home. Hey, Stephen Curvis. Let's go check out Star Tours because it is a low wait time. And the only transmission we didn't get was Andor. So let's see if we can get Andor tonight. Smugglers is 15. Ooh, let's go do it. The combination of the salty potatoes and the tanginess. Let's think about all the flavors in this right now. Let's get up close and personal on this baby. We're talking um, buffalo dressing with the tanginess of coleslaw, the saltiness and savoriness of potatoes, and then the sweetness of the cone bowl. Tammy's calling me. It's like, hello, I'm a little busy. Don't you know that? We'll send her a quick text here. Check out the sights and of the amazing Sunset Boulevard. Hello, Tyler. Benjamin says it looks good. It looks fan. It, it tastes fantastic. It looks, it tastes as good as it looks. So we'll eat this quick. We'll hit some rides and we'll stand in line for Fantasmic. I've got about four napkins in the pockets at the moment. So don't let me walk away from this trash can, Alicia. I hope you all had an amazing day today, an amazing Tuesday. No, that wouldn't be right, right? Maybe it's Thursday. Yesterday I thought it was Tuesday. You ever wonder what throws you off, why you're thrown off by things? So, hope you all had a wonderful Thursday and you're ready to settle down for an amazing Thursdays. Mm -mm -mm. This meal is a five out of five Mickeys and that gives us the Mickey's Diz Kiss so good so good right there how come Mickey isn't kissing Minnie there we go it's that good
The amazing part is when Corey starts the stream. <laughs> so the worst part is when it... I think of Theo because I know Theo starts to get sad because he knows the routine. If I say, we had an amazing day today or something, you know. He knows it's coming. There's my buddy right there. Jen W. Hello. I was going to message you. I know life happens. We've missed you. We haven't seen you. How was everybody's weather? Make sure you hit that like button on the way in, everyone. And if you're new here, subscribe. And then at the end of the stream, if you were sorry that you did, unsubscribe. We won't charge you any extra. If you cancel in time, we won't charge you. And by the way, it's free. Let's look at some people for, for a minute again. All right, Courtney, are you still in Disney? The potatoes are nice and hot. Oh, you ninja a couple times, okay. I keep an eye on these things. No pressure. Cold and rainy all day, but clearing up for Disney Dina. Let me just tell you, the you wouldn't, some people wouldn't think so, but potatoes with a cone is really good. So would you eat a regular style cone that you hold with a scoop of mashed potatoes in it? I guess that's saying yes, I would. Here's the last chicken. I hear beeping. All right, let's finish this off and we'll be on the move for the rest of the day. Look what's inside though. Look at all that goodness. We've got some chives left, some potatoes, some leftover residue of the wings. That's a yup. more bites and we're on the move 16 days and we can break stuff at Hollywood Studios Corey that's right that's our next all-day stream start to finish May the 4th here at Hollywood Studios all right excited to see what we might find over there at Boardwalk, right? It's been a while. Is that a regular waffle cone bowl? It is. But it has enough sweetness to really complement the potatoes. I guess I'll just hold this and walk with it. Double check my wait times, even though Alicia's been outstanding. All right. Speed is on our side. We are alone today. <laughs> I'd be down for a cornbread waffle cone with that, but I don't think regular. Okay. 
I bet the sugar cone would be even better. It's Susie Q. What's up, Susie Q? Why don't we do the sweep? Why don't we do Smuggler's Run first? Because it will be a walk-on. And then we'll sweep around and we'll do Star Tours. And then it may be time to wait in line for some Phantasmic. What a beautiful evening, 84 degrees, maybe 86. It doesn't even feel that warm though. No, I shouldn't say that. Yeah, it doesn't feel that hot like you would think 84 would be. Sun is setting. And I get to enjoy all of you. Wait, Corey, I've never heard that sentence ever before. Smuggler's Run is a walk-on? Yeah. Crazy, right? And it also has single riders, so it's going to be super quick. Super, super quick. Highly recommend just stopping over to the Brown Derby and just getting a table. Over there, <clears throat> there's an outdoor bar area where you can try all kinds of amazing things from the menu. It's where I first had escargot, which was really good. I saw this on social media the other day, and it's worth pointing out because when Disney signed and bought Fox and everything else, all the properties that come with it, we did wonder what would show up in the parks, right? Well, how about this? How about some Bob's Burgers? Can I interest you in some Bob's Burgers? <laughs> oh, and look at the tie-in. He says, thing of a Bob's? I've got 20. That is great marketing right there. And then Bender says, Let's see. These are the droids you're looking for. <laughs> That's kind of like my bender. <laughs> These are the droids you're looking for. And then you've got to Abbott Elementary and beyond. And then once upon a McDream from McDreamy. Very interesting. Let me know what you, what you think in the comments below if you're watching this, you know on the replay and letting me know in the chat what you all think about that. You know, we know the Disney fandom. It could upset some people that it's not traditional Disney. And would you be open to like a Bob's Burgers meet and greet? A Futurama meet and greet. I didn't realize Futurama came with that. That's Bender from Futurama. Hello, Corey's been looking forward to this stream as we will be back in Disney one month from today, staying at Boardwalk. Excellent. Boardwalk is one of those on my list that I have not stayed at. It's very possible that we may be staying there within this year, so we'll be very excited to do that. I would love to say that I've stayed at every resort. I don't think we're that far off. Hey, 
Hey Disney mom, welcome. We are on the vertical, but that's that's for others to to discover. Definitely stay over here and watch us here. Perhaps I should pick up the pace a little bit. A little leisurely walk through Hollywood Studios. MGM. Oh, Disney MGM wasn't only Disney, so I'm good with it, says Lawrence. Lawrence always fires back with great points. That's a great point. How about this? I have never, I have never thought of this. This could directly rival Universal Studios a bit. How I got it. I've got the name and everything. For a fifth gate, or maybe even sixth gate, we've talked about different things, especially on the podcast and here. Many times I've said a villain's park would be great. An entire Star Wars park would be great. How about we do Disney Action Park? Disney Action Park, and that would include all action stuff. So we're talking aliens. How about an aliens encounter? Not like Stitch, <laughs> but an aliens encounter. I mean, they could branch out to their Fox properties now and whatever else they own. And we could do Action Park, Disney Action Park. It, it, it's catchy. And it could be, I know Disney's built on family. So we, we would definitely build in family rides there, but maybe, maybe 75 or 65, 35. Did, did I do the math right? Yeah, 65, 35, adult. You know what I mean? Like universal level and the other part, family. Lawrence says that a great, that's a great idea. I think so. If I could only run into Josh tomorrow today. I don't even know what Josh's uh, title is anymore. He is not really responsible for the parks. Or did he, re did he kind of get that back? I can be so chill though. I've run into him twice. And uh, we have good conversations. We're from the same area. So we talk about sports and everything. So one day when, when I ran into him, we were talking. And I'm like, oh my God, Josh tomorrow's asking me these questions. Like he he's a leader of Disney. <laughs> He's like, so what do you what do you think about what's going to happen here in the off season and the upcoming season for our sports teams? You know, I was like, oh, okay, well, hey, this is what I think. So we have good conversations. He was funny one day. He came around the corner in France with jeans and a t-shirt. Nobody even knew who he was, and he stopped short and he's like, oh, you found me, and I'm like, I did. <laughs> good stuff. Great guy. I'd take a Villains Park, higher chance of Twisted Wonderland being there. Yeah. There was a park called Action Park in New Jersey. Make Arlen, Texas section a new park. Was off testing IG. Corey is amazed is in all formats. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, let's head, we'll go the long way. So. Let's do a quick merch search here. Uh, yeah, you know what? I kind of felt like there might have been an action park somewhere. So, you know, still a great name. Ooh, look at this. I'm 
I'm a total fan of that cup. That cup should have come out on day one. This is new merch for the kitties. I still need the BD unit. I don't have BD. So I finally had to go to Jacob. I am going to need Jacob to... These signs are really cool, but I don't know if they're for purchase. Oh, they are. I had to go to Jacob. I cannot defeat Darth Vader. In the latest um, Jedi game. I just can't. And I don't give up, but... I think I'll reduce the difficulty. This bag isn't bad. I think I'll reduce the difficulty and see if I can beat him first. That's a $60 bag. That would be a that would be an Indiana Jones side pouch kind of thing. Okay. That's all the new stuff. This would be cool. I am starting to put my Disney aprons to use because I treated myself to a new Blackstone griddle. And now Tammy doesn't have to cook as much. This one's pretty cool. This one's really cool. How much is it? It's 35 bucks. Discount. Might have to think about that. Seven bucks off, just under 30 bucks. Maybe it. Okay. Oh, look, it has a little side pocket. Okay. So I didn't feel like it was too hot, but it's definitely hot. The Mickey sweat factor is at a three, at a 2.89. If you walk enough. <clears throat> yeah, I'm, I'm thinking about that. I'm thinking about the apron. Maybe as we get off smugglers. Although we're going the other way after that. But it is cool. Sometimes I get frugal. And I hold my money tight. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. Anybody that's with like a couple or in the past you've been with a couple, boyfriend, girlfriend, whatever, have you found that a lot of your opposites, one spends money and the other one is definitely more conservative? Tammy is way more conservative. I, I, God, I think if you, I think if you added it up, I'm pretty sure, I'll just throw a number. We'll just talk like not even like spending money on important things. We'll talk about for pleasure. Maybe Tammy has spent four thousand dollars in twenty years, and I've spent. Now nah, we'll give her five. We've been in Disney for a while. Maybe Tammy spent five thousand bucks, and I spent about twenty thousand bucks. <laughs> I'm a little bit more of a spender than she is. Sometimes I feel badly about that. I'm like, we could have so much more money. Hi, Bright Sons. Are we good here? Yeah, you're awesome. Awesome, thank you. Do you have an extra vest? I love those. I want one. All right, sounds good. <laughs> For a price. Let's see what I make on this voyage and then I'll come back. Yeah, that sounds great. All right. Single ride. Yeah. Trying to make deals. <laughs> we know deals don't work in this galaxy. <laughs> oh yeah, we can get, listen, we can get a hundred likes before this ride is over. Which way are you going? I'm just, I feel like, nice. I feel like the force is pulling me this way, so I'm just gonna keep going. Ruben G, you spend all my money. <laughs> what? <laughs> ah, at least I admit it. At least I admit it.
women make lots of smaller purchases. Men make less frequent but larger purchases, in my opinion. Yeah, that's probably true. There's a couple incidences, though. Like, there was a time when I first started personal training, like, 20 years ago. Well, a little less than 20, maybe 15. And uh, for the first time in my life, I was really into sneakers. So I probably owned about 13 pairs at once. But I always got them on sale, like 60 bucks, 40 bucks. And then Tammy would come over and hammer, hammer us with a pair of Uggs, UGG. So that's like a couple hundred, couple hundred a pop. Are you guys joining us? We are. Is that okay? Yes. Awesome. Um, sure. Okay. Yeah. I, you pilot with him. Right. With you? Yeah. Okay. Hi, I'm Corey. Nice to meet you. Okay. <laughs> All right. Sounds good. Yes, I am. Yeah, I have it. I have a YouTube channel. Yeah. <laughs> My family and I. It's called Living in Diz. Yeah. I do it with my family. Yeah. 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 Not mine. Well, you learn, right? You gotta and learn. And then we thought it was take off our bags and we'll put our hands. I'll have us take off our bags and we'll put our hands. You can take off your backpack. Oh. Alright, we're just waiting for Hondo. Excellent. Wait, what's your name again? Corey. What's yours? Kieran. Kieran, that's a cool name. My name's Ronan. Ronan. Those sound like Star Wars names. We're all set to head on down. Oh, yeah. Cool. Oh, yeah. Yeah, right here. This one came from May the 4th last, no, two years ago. Yeah. National Star Wars Day. Joel not let this man pilot. <laughs> Tyler has no confidence in me. The first order train shipment of coaxia. Gunners, you clear the path. Pilots, line up behind the train. And engineers, you harpoon that precious cargo. All right, into the cockpit. I hope you are ready, my friends. But Here's a tip. Sure. No sudden right. movement. We'll nice we and easy. This, right? yeah. And the ship will because go with of, it. Because it <laughs> Here we go. For your safety, remain seated and supervise younglings. All right. Well, I'm the gunner. All right. We're, gonna, we're trusting you to... Blast a bunch of things. Okay, everyone buckle up before we... Oh, no, I forgot to buckle. All right, let's pull the other strap on your seatbelt. Thank you. Pull the other strap, and I have to... Ready now. Okay, is everyone ready? And there's going to be a red button up there, Karen, so make sure... All right, all systems go. You ready, Corey? I'm ready here. Right, pilot. Let's do this. The flight path's going crazy. The flight path's going. What are we going to do? Don't do anything but side to side. Stay low. <laughs> All the way forward. All the way forward. We got this. Here we go. All right. Take us to light speed, Karen. Here we go. That's right. There you go. Yeehaw! Here we 
go. All right. I'm going to get us right behind it. Very nice. Take out those nice job, Gunners. All the TIE fighters are gone. We need some repairs back there. Excellent. Harpoon. Excellent. You guys are amazing. All right. A little bit of damage never hurt anybody. <laughs> Except for now. Oh. Oh. Eyes on the prize. All right, here we go. Let's go get that second coaxium. Excellent. We got him. We got him early. Here we go. Second coaxium. <laughs> Everyone's doing great. Gunnership. Here's where the fun begins. Beautiful flight. Beautiful flight. Come on, Chewy, that wasn't even Karen's fault. <laughs> Chewy thought that was your fault. That was not your fault. Outstanding. We didn't. That was great. We we did better than last. Yes, we did. A lot better. Everyone did so great. Wait, did we have to use those credits to pay his rent or something? Well, it's whatever. He probably pays uh, wait, 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 other bad people because he's not into good things. You see, this happens sometimes when you... Uh, yep, 224 right now. Oh, looks like we are ready to go. Excellent. After you. Yes, you're welcome. That was fun, guys. Good job. I'll fly with you any day, Kieran. What a team. <laughs> Take care. Bye. Bye. Have fun. Bye. Living in Diz, D I Z. Wait, what? Li like, like it's like living in Disney, but just make the the Disney short to D I Z. So, living in D I Z. Yep, living in D I Z. Okay. We're staying until Saturday. Oh well, have oh well, that's awesome. So it's living in D I Z. Yes, living in D I Z. All right. So, I want to dedicate that ride to Matt and Tyler, who doubted me. That was like a perfect ride from my side. Perfect left 
to write, and my guy, my little man, Kieran, did an amazing job. He was amazing, too. We were everything. Flawless ride. Flawless ride. I'll fly with him anytime. Take them to Toy Story Mania next. <laughs> uh, maybe I have to tell Jacob I need to switch sides. What great boys. What great boys. St interactions like that just, it makes me want Jacob here, you know? Mixing it up with the boys. Or Jill. I was just thinking boys, though. For the moment. So much fun. Cool. <laughs> okay. That sounds good. Thank you. Bye, guys. Bye. Okay. Where did I say we were going next? Uh, oh, Star Tours. Kieran carried me. <laughs> he might have. I mean, it's teamwork. Ah, someone had to do... He, Karen didn't do the side to side. But he did an amazing job with the up and down. Amazing. And our... Our, uh... Our mechanics there kept us from getting... Kept the damage to a very great minimum. Look who we have here. Ray. Oh, Ray's your favorite. Someone page Lily. <laughs> Yeah, we gotta thank them for saving the stream. <laughs> See what we have for time. Okay. I'm still thinking about that apron. Hmm. I'm walking further and more further away from it. What do we think? Let's just hope Corey gets another good co pilot. <laughs> You'll have to stay tuned for that. Congrats, whoop whoop. Let me just do this, hold on. That was a great experience. And, and those boys were so good, like they remembered my name and called me by my name, which you don't get. 
all the time. All right, everybody, blast the chat for Timothy Smith. Thank you so much, Timothy. Let's blast the chat for Timothy Smith. And he just dropped a gift to Taylor's World, the one who's been yakking the most. <laughs> Congratulations, Taylor. What did you win? You won many, many perks, but some of the better perks is the Members Only Podcast access that happens before the podcast every Wednesday night. Name in the credits at the end of future live streams, exclusive emojis to the channel, as well as two times the chance to win our amazing contests that we throw right here. Congratulations to you, and we thank Timothy Smith for always being so participatory and so generous. Thank you so much, Timothy, my man. All right. As they say in Massachusetts, let's go to Star Tours. I feel like I have to really work at the Massachusetts accent now. Sometimes you all will catch me. And then that's real, but this is me like trying to make it happen. Star Tours. <laughs> Doesn't sound natural anymore. They should make trash cars into droids. Oh, trash cans into droids? I'm all for that. Oh, blast the chat for blue polo. Oh, we got some ha we got some happenings here. Scott Rinky. Just dropped a gift as well. well. That went to Steven Kerfus and Blue Polo dropped one and that went to Matt. Congratulations, you all. You all just received the same perks plus more. And uh, we blast the chat for Scott and Blue Polo, who we also thank for that ongoing generosity. Thank you. That's amazed, Diz, everybody. Thank you. So, I got to man this a little bit on my own. It's so much easier when I'm with the family or Neil or someone to help me with the management of the glasses, but we'll get it. May we get Andor? That would be great. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. It's the only one I haven't seen. <laughs> we need that Andor transmission. Jennifer L. Sup, sis? The Star Speeder 1000, the most sophisticated and luxurious space liner in its class. Well, other space lines <laughs> like her that lady's cranky. R2, Red 5, checking in. Everything's looking good, 3PO. Weather is clear. 84 degrees. We're ready to go. I think it'll be a smooth launch. And no trouble this time. Our community is always so generous. If you're not opted in for a chance for a free gift... Just go down below in the description, click the opt-in link, and you will be qualified to win any time. Ah, what's up, bro? One. Thank you. See? Can I take an extra? I'm going to take an extra one if I can. I have others watching. Right here? Right here? Please pay attention to the following safety information. When the automatic doors are open, Please proceed directly across the ramp into the cabin. Continue to move all the way across your aisle, filling in every available seat. Galactic regulations require that all carry-on items be safely stowed. We have to pay attention. We have to pay attention to galactic rules. Joseph Dion, we celebrate you. He says, "Let you know, can't live stream fireworks in Epcot shutdown." 
your channel or warning or strike. I appreciate that, Joseph. I think last night the community, you know, came together behind the scenes a little bit so that we can kind of figure out. We have a plan going forward to try. So we will try, at least a few of us will try again um, until it works. We know what to do to avoid the warning. So I appreciate that. We'll see what happens. We're not scheduled for Epcot until a week from Saturday. So we'll see what happens before then. Make sure you vote on the latest poll. We already have 120 votes. All passengers. Favorite Please area at Hollywood Studios, Hollywood. Sunset Boulevard, Galaxy's Edge, Toy Story Land, Lane, or Echo Lake. Sunset Boulevard is winning. It is very pretty. Bum, ba -da -bum.
can no longer stand in the shadows. We need your help. No, McGavin, yeah, that the answer is. Head to the coordinates I am transmitting to you. This mission is dangerous. Be strong and courageous. This is the way. Spit that out. <laughs> by pressing the release button on your left. Make sure you have all your personal belongings as you exit. Thank you for flying Star Tours. Bye-bye. <laughs> in Diz, D-I-Z, if you're interested. <laughs> what is it? Living in Diz, D-I-Z. Okay. If, if you're interested. In, yeah, it's like living in Disney, but D-I-Z instead. <laughs> do you do all sorts of different things? We do. We, we cover, I say we, because my whole family um, is involved, <laughs> excuse me, involved. Um, but uh, yeah, we, we have a podcast on Wednesday nights. Um, we're at the parks two to three times a week. Yeah, 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 and um, we've been doing it for six years, and we cover everything. In living in this, yeah. Here, if you're visual, that's what it is right there. Okay, I'm gonna look it up right now. Yeah, and uh, yeah, we cover everything. We like two weeks ago we stayed at the Grand Floridian, so we did dinner live. We we showed the room, the Mary Poppins room. Like if you watch us, you'll learn a lot about Disney. Where are you going back to? Utah. Okay. Do you get to come often? So we actually did this trip in honor of my husband's grandparents. Okay. They gave him the inheritance. Oh. Uh, nice. We didn't even know if it's going to this trip. Oh. I know. I did it for my birthday. Oh, nice. Yeah. You showed me his video, so I'm yeah. like, oh. Okay. Enjoy. Thank, Thank you. Asking. Yes. Take care. Good night. Good night. Here's the new collection. All right. We do have to get in line for Fantasmic, don't we? Does anybody have a problem with me going to get that? Apron first. Quick walk loop. 
right through and then to Fanta the line of Fantasmic. What do we think? I'll be super quick. Great work, Master Jedi. Hey, it was a Star Wars themed night. What can I say? We do what we can. We probably shouldn't, right? You think we'll still get in? Get my apron? Okay. Let's walk fast. I knew all the way leaving it, I was like, see, I have a new grill. So I'd feel really, it made me feel good to be out there in my Star Wars apron. All right, I got a speed walk going. The non-gimbal arm is flowing. We'll get our workout in. And we'll get right over there. Hi, how are you? Good, thanks. So, let's talk about the transmission that we got. Go get it or you'll regret it. Thank you, Ann. Um, listen, I was hoping for uh, Andor because I hadn't gotten it, but at the same time, I was happy that we got Mandalorian because, listen, we never have trouble or hardly ever, ever, ever have trouble streaming Star Tours, but I had an issue with the glasses on day one when we saw Mando for the first time, so I didn't even pay attention to Mando. Now that I got to pay full attention to him, I absolutely love it. That is the best transmission they've ever had. Does anybody agree with me? Or you can tell me you disagree too. What's your favorite transmission? That transmission is funny. And as the frog comes out towards us and Grogu sucks it in his mouth, that's really cool. I know, at first I was thinking, well, maybe there's plenty there. Maybe they'll be there next time we come, but that you know, it's Disney, they could all be gone. If you had to eat at one restaurant for two years, what would it be? What a great question. A Disney restaurant, Hollywood and Vine, easy. It's a buffet, so you can have variety. The desserts are great. And I can say hi to Mickey. Anytime. See? We're already there almost. Dun, dun, dun. Corey knows it's a non-issue with his turbo mode. <laughs> Apron is easy mode. Corey, your battery going. It's got a dark. Uh, oh, let me see. The battery's not going, but I don't know. I don't think the settings would be low. No, settings are good. It's just getting dark out. Coming in hot. Here, we'll grab one from back here. This is the one right here. That's the lucky one. There we go. Okay. Hi. Just gonna take that. Pass holder discount. He's getting an apron. Never had too many aprons. I am. New grill. Gotta get a new apron, you know. Oh, and a new grill. It's fair. You said annual pass, right? Yeah, annual pass. 29.81 after two. Beautiful. Just have to quickly verify that. Oh, I just put it away. Yeah, I can't go What? Actually, 29.81, and did you want a bag for this? Um, please. And 
Yeah. We're going to tap. I would try to fit it in a bag, but Yeah. Yeah, and I got to try to stuff it into my uh, Empire Strikes Back lounge line. Get in there. That should not be a problem. Just put that in there. Thank you so much. Yeah, the whole setup over here. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I'm live. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, yeah. I'm perfectly here now. Oh, very nice. It's great. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Take care. I'm going to go try to catch Phantasmic. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Till the Spires. Everybody blast the chat for Jennifer L. And that just went to Helen Boyce. Congratulations. You just won yourself a membership. An LID Club membership. Your name will now be green. And here's a highlight of some of the greatest perks of that level. That is the Magical Express level worth $5. Good for 30 days. You get the members only podcast that happens on Wednesday nights at 6.30 p.m. Eastern Time. Your name in the credits at the end of future live streams. The exclusive emojis to the channel. As well as two times the chance to win some of our amazing contests. So, congratulations. And uh, we celebrate one of our great mods, Jennifer L. I saw C-3PO Loungefly at Box Lunch today. It was very cute. <gasps> was it like shiny gold or like a flat? The good news is it just seems like there are a lot of people still in the park and not going towards Phantasmic. I'll take any seat except for the ghetto section. Ghetto section is way in the back. You can't see the floats. I don't know if I should give it a different name, but that's what came out. The B seats. We'll call them the B seats. We're waiting for Slinky to come by. Always got to catch that Slinky shot. Everybody wants the monorail shot. I want the Slinky shot. But Slinky's not coming. It was shiny. It was shiny gold and silver. I almost bought it. Ooh. I'd be interested to see what that looks like. What was the price on that? See, I have a few lounge flies, but what I like to do is go on loungefly.com now and then. And then they have crazy sales on loungefly.com. We're talking like 25 bucks. Like the one I have on today, Empire Strikes Back, was like 25, 30 bucks. Hey, howdy, hey. My name is Woody, and this is where toys come to play. Welcome to Andy's Backyard. I mean, like for like 25 bucks, I picked up, um... A Black Panther crossed with um, Star Lord from Guardians, and his eyes light up. That's pretty cool. It was very colorful. I'll look for it and email it to you. Okay, I appreciate that. You're looking for R2D2? Well, there's an R2D2 one that just came out that Catherine has.
I will be grateful to sit anywhere as long as we're not sitting in the bee seats. Your Iron Man lights up too. Oh, the mask slides down. All right, I'm going to say the early forecast looks really good on this. Sorry about that, little rookie mistake. I had to change signals. In case we lagged, I was saying I expected the line to be static way back there, but it's not, so I think we're going to be in pretty good shape here. Just want to mention the Diz Pod from last night. We have a, a little podcast we'd like to call the Diz Pod, and that little puppy is always ranking in the top 10, top 8, top 7, as high as the top 7, I think, in the world for Disney podcasts. And we continue to make our team stronger and stronger. If you are ever wondering about allergies and you're uncomfortable with the thought, of eating at certain Disney restaurants and things like that, check out Disney Allergies with Ashley. And she's on Instagram. She's amazed, Diz. She just went to 1900 Park Fair, which just opened. And she posted the allergy-friendly menus on her Instagram. And she spent maybe a good 20 minutes with us last night to open the Diz Pod, and she talked all about 1900 Park Fair, so uh, we're here We're here to teach you all everything about Walt Disney World. Pretty sure we can answer any questions you ever have, whether it's here on the Diz Pod or you just post comments. We can do it, and we're just always trying to bring knowledge so that when you come to Disney, you can operate like a park pro. So you can check that out. It is there on the channel under our podcast list. Alicia says it was really good last night. Listen, we get to bring full knowledge and expertise on allergy, eating with allergies in Disney. And we don't have to do any of the work. Ashley just comes on and does her thing and shines. So just another tool, another tool. Corey, what is the best memory of all time at Disney? Um, if you check out our Mulan videos, they're the highest rated videos we have. At least one of them is. It was the character interaction that my daughter had with Mulan, and we made a two-part series of it. Uh, that's my greatest memory. But we have so many. So many. Thank you for that link. Terry Kessler, you you always hit us with good stuff. <laughs> you can't you you can't come in here hard on two wheels with religion. <laughs> but welcome. You can't come in here hard on two wheels with politics or religion. Nobody can. Now, if we want to debate, should Mickey run for president of Hollywood Studio? Or so they're sending us over directly through this side. I don't mind that at all. Oh, that's what I'm smelling. It's smelling good food. The Skyliner. And we're going to go over to Boardwalk for a little while. I plan on ending around maybe 10.30-ish p.m. Eastern Time. 
an hour and a half after this show. I just figured we can't go anywhere. Tyler, it's always Twizzler time. Let's go. The use of laser pointers during the show is strictly prohibited. Thank you and enjoy the show. <coughs> Excuse me, are you a live streaming person? Yes, I am. Very cool. Yeah. Are you doing it all day? No, no. I do. It, I just do it part time, a couple nights a week, all so, most of the day and night on a Saturday with my family. But we've been doing it for about six years. Really? Yeah. So does that mean you've seen a million of these shows? Okay. And it never gets old. So you know this is a good spot then. It is a good spot. I was pleased to have to sit here um, with it being so crowded with only one show. So, so yeah. So have you seen it before? Yes. Sir. We had the, oh, okay. So we'll get one of the um, screens right in front of us. Really? Yeah. So this is not a bad spot. Can they hear you now? Yeah. But these are all my friends. They're they're used to people talking to me. Oh no, it's around the world, but they're all my friends. Uh, living in Diz, D I Z. Yeah. Uh, we're approaching 14.1k. Nice. Yeah. 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 My wife and my two kids, you know, for the last six years. Yeah. 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 I followed a lot of accounts like yours before we came just to know what Yeah. You, it's, yeah. It was the first in like February and I remember we were coming. I was like, I don't know where to begin. It's like reading about the Genie Plus and stuff and you're just like, I literally don't even know what that is. I'm so stressed. But yeah. then just like watching some accounts like that, it's like, oh, okay. Like, I know. You can learn a lot. Well, the shortcuts. There's certain things that we've done that I learned through, like... That's great. That helped me, like... Yeah. Yeah, loads of hacks. Yeah, loads of hacks. Amazing. Yes. Yeah, I've absolutely. just been following because, you know, everything. Yeah, that's um, great. Thanks to... Thanks to yeah, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, you can learn a lot. We we teach a lot of people a lot of things, you know? Even down to the food, too. I, I, I do a lot of food reviews. So people will approach me, you know, and say... I've got my list, you know, now I've got everything I want to try based on your recommendations and things like that, so, What's yeah. What's the one thing you recommend food-wise? Oh boy, that's a lot of stuff. Oh, sorry. Um, here? Here? Well, uh, you know what, the best, uh, what do you call it, quick service, one of the best quick service foods is right out here at Fairfax Fair. They have um, a waffle bowl with mashed potatoes. And um, buffalo, boneless buffalo wings topped with coleslaw. It's amazing. Yeah, I just had that. Uh, the number one snack, if you like Nutella, that you want to go get at like Magic Kingdom, is over at Sleepy Hollow. Um, and uh, it's uh, a Belgian waffle with Nutella, with fresh blueberries, banana, and strawberries. You eat it like a taco. Really good. Actual fruit. Yes. I yes, value that highly. They have a lunch version of that too, where it's um, like a spicy chicken oh. with a coleslaw. Oh, that's yeah. Thank you for that free advice. You're so welcome. Yeah. You're welcome. Yeah. All right, walk up to uh, Mr. Pat. Up and over. Uh, battery is good. We're at 65%. What's that? Oh. Yeah, if they have to start making room for more people, they do. Yeah. Okay, so those are some of my favorite non-chocolate candies. We're talking Swedish Fish, Dots, Twizzlers. Let's see, those three in order. Swedish Fish, Twizzlers, Dots. Is now just 10 minutes away. 
minutes away. We would like to remind you that the lights in the theater will be dim during the performance. For everyone's safety, please remain in your seat until the lighting levels return to normal. Thank you for your cooperation and enjoy the show. Let's hit up our amazing sponsor real quickly, everybody. We've got about 10 minutes to go. We're going to talk about Victor Naraki. If you're looking for a home that offers the perfect blend of luxury, comfort, and convenience with Disney World in your backyard, it's Victor Naraki. He is a licensed realtor with Vision Home Real Estate, LLC. And he is here to help you find the home of your dreams with over 13 years of experience of helping people find the home of their dreams and a proven track record of success. Victor is the perfect partner to guide you through every step of the home buying process. So why wait? You want to visit CelebratingFlorida at gmail.com or CelebratingFlorida.com, I think. i got to solidify that. But uh, definitely can email him at CelebratingFlorida.com. Uh, and i got to change that at the bottom, too. DisneyAtYourDoorstep.com. That's a little convoluted. So definitely want to go to Celebrating Florida. And uh, shout out to Victor. Victor has a YouTube channel. And you can go check that out as well. Uh, the links are below in the description. And Victor does some amazing home tours. Yeah, there we go. CelebratingFlorida.com. And there's also Victor at CelebratingFlorida.com. That is the best one. Victor at CelebratingFlorida.com. So if you're just joining us, stick with us. After this, we're going to hit the Skyliner, take it over to Boardwalk, have a relaxing, a little bit of a relaxing time over there for about an hour, a little more, and then we'll walk our way back to Hollywood Studios to close out the night. Napkins are clear. Thank you, Alicia. Here's a look at the landscape. Full house, because it is one show. But there might be a full house for 
the first show all the time. Oh, well, I wasn't counting past shows, only what's current. I love Harmonious. I love Harmonious. I'd, I would put Harmonious. I'd go Fantasmic, Happily Ever After, Harmonious, Lion King, Luminous. Festival of Lion King is amazing with the dancing and the costumes. I think Blue Polo and everyone, I think that we're going to pick up tickets for Lion King coming to Orlando next year. It's so far away, but you got to get tickets now. Pretty sure Tammy Tammy gave me the go-ahead on that one. Night shows, today shows, almost apples to oranges. It's true. It's true. Oh, eyesore or not at all. No way. It was an eyesore in the daytime, but not when the show kicked off, in my opinion. All right, we're about to start, everybody. Let's lower the lights here on the stream and get ready for an amazing performance of Fantasmic.
Don't have time for that. <laughs> right across, right across the bleachers. Boom. We say it every time. An amazing show. Nothing better than that. Thank you, Tyler. Tyler, what did I do better, this or Fly the Falcon? I'll say equally well. I'll take that. Stick with us. We're jumping on the Skyliner. Going over to Boardwalk. Hey, Mike Ballard, good evening. Amazing show filmed by an amazing streamer. Thank you so much, Dole Whip Dave. So I have a new challenge. I'm filming in vertical and horizontal at the same time. So that's double the challenge. I think it came out pretty good. Thank you, Tiger Girl. I deserve to live there. It's, it's the name, right? It's living in Diz. <laughs> we live in Disney. We live in Disney.
I mean, it's, it's, you know, it's congested here when you exit, but it does flow. It does move. Just a long walk. Yeah. They must have done uh, the last show off the castle. Wonderful World of Animation. Maybe a na ending at nine? Because we just saw fireworks. Hey, go, go, Mini. How goes it? So I had to change some scheduling. I still don't have a time or a date for the Zoom call. I think we have to just not do it. Uh, May 9th is when we'll do the next Zoom call. Oh no, Mike, you lost your credit card. I hope you canceled it. Sometimes we have a little bit of signal loss over here backstage, but we'll soon be out of it. Best nighttime show. Can't wait for it to return to Disneyland, says Darren. I'd like to see that version in person. Dizzoom, May 9th. May 9th is a Thursday. Yes, it won't be a streaming Thursday, according to my calendar. I was going to do it next Thursday, but to be honest, these Zoom calls go for about three to four hours. <laughs> And if we did it in two weeks, it's the NFL draft, which I do not want to miss this year. And there's no way we can talk for like an hour <laughs> and do it justice. So I'm sure everybody would rather just wait. Richard will be in Disney in three weeks. We'll be here on May 4th, all day stream, all day, all night. Traveling with quite the crowd that day. Something we don't do often anymore. Put it on hold, went to guest services, and they had it lo at Lost and Found. They brought it to, oh, okay. What a relief. Oh, the nighttime show over here is still going on. Seems a bit strange. Disneyland was a little better, but you have to stand. Hey, Kristen B., so nice to meet you. Oh, she said, so nice to meet you at the confectionery. Yes, Kristen B., I remember that. I'm so glad that you came over and introduced yourself. Made my night. So glad you came in chat to say hello. I told Tammy about you.
coolest friend in the world. Wow, that's cool, CCQ. Yes, Sydney and Frango. We are in the Claudia is always around. You can always check her out. Thing up there, we're gonna go left to the bathroom. All right, let's see if there's much of a line for the Skyliner. Corey just put my suitcase in the car for the morning. Fingers crossed, it's gonna happen. It's gonna happen, Grandma Grover. It's going to happen. You gotta believe. Where there's a will, there's a way. So stick with us, we're not leaving for the night quite, 
quite all together. We are heading over to the boardwalk for a little relaxing time. Walk through the lobbies. Look at the pool. We will look at some treats and things over a boardwalk. Not my favorite thing to blend in with all these guests, but uh, it'll be a okay. Eyes on the prize, which is the destination. But we're all about the journey too, because it's Skyliner, right? We want to enjoy some Skyliner. Under the boardwalk. <laughs> Maybe the performers will be out. Let's see. Luminous is happening right now. Doesn't look like the Skyliner wait will be too long. Oh, the line starts over there, but it's quick. Skyliner end of line is going to be all the way against that railing for us. Oh, good night, Lily's life. Saw you in the chat, but, uh, was navigating a crowd and showing a show or two. <laughs> Good to see you guys. Yeah, this line won't be much of an issue. Coming back May 14th through the 16th for a three day We'll see you, I hope, again. Absolutely, Mike. Actually, yeah, yeah. Anytime anyone can come over and say hello, definitely do it. I would have stood with you for, the, for all the fireworks, but my view wasn't the best. <laughs> but I'm glad you get to talk with Neil for a little bit. All right, Tyler, see you on Saturdays. So for anybody that doesn't know the Skyliner well, we're, we're running the whole line pretty much. We are going from here, the start of it. We're gonna switch, we're gonna switch. So we'll do two gondolas, and that'll bring us to the end of the line over at Boardwalk. And then if you if you watch long enough, I'll show you all what it's like to walk from Boardwalk to Hollywood because I'm parked over here, so.
Red 5, Leo, how's it going? It is a nice little jaunt, not bad. It goes by quick. Just outside of Bangor. That's Shut the front door. <laughs> I worked at, oh God, I can't remember where I worked. What's the name of that place? Um, but uh, my wife worked at Maine Savings. In Brewer. Yep. Yeah. He teaches in Brewer. Oh, does he? That's so funny. We own a business in Brewer. Oh, how about that? How, small world, right? Yeah. How about that? Do you know Do you know Phil, Philip Trammell? He's a, I used to babysit him, actually. Phil and I talked together for a year. Phil is like my little brother. Yeah. I love that little human. He grew up on the same street, <laughs> the same street I did. Really? Yeah. Oh, we love Phil so much. He's a good boy. <laughs> Before we moved, Phil, Phil, Phil and uh, his friend Chris used to uh, hang out at our house on Sundays watching football for <laughs> years. That's cool. Were you, wow. Were you on Capri Street? Well, Phil bought a house a few years ago. Yeah, so I think he ended up, I wonder if he bought his, his parents' house. They still live there a little bit. Do they still live there? Oh, do they? Okay. As far as I knew. That's okay. weird. <laughs> Isn't that nuts? I got to tell my wife about that. That's so funny. Central. Yeah. Wow, that's crazy. Did you know that the entire Yep, we've been doing this for six years almost. Yeah. You go to Disney like every day? No, two to three times a week. Yeah, because I work, I, in my regular life, I work probably 55 hours a week. <laughs> and still find the time to do this. Yeah. So what's it going to be like tomorrow with the race? Is it going to be crazy at all the parks? With the Run Disney weekend? Yeah. Oh, God, another one. Yeah. Oh, it's, it's now. <laughs> yeah, the parks get busy over the weekend for we're that. We're getting started morning. We're just kind of wondering what tomorrow would be like. 
Because COVID um, died this week. At the week time, I know. I know. I guess the calm before the storm. Yeah. <laughs> a couple weeks before that, leading we up to, watching, it, was like, mad, we were, it was mad. It was a madhouse. It was really bad. We were watching Some of the worst wait times I've seen. Yeah. yeah. When they um, shut down Magic Kingdom from Park Hop, we were like, oh, dear. Like, yes. That's gotta be I was here that day. I was going to Magic. I said, forget it. Yeah. I went somewhere else. Maybe Epcot, I think. I we were at home going, oh, God, I hope this isn't. Like, this yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Um, tomorrow will be better than Saturday. Yeah. What's that? So you gotta get up early and get your yep. your, your reservation, right? Yep. Thank you for flying. Watch, watch the clock really close. Even if you have to go online and look at an analog clock with about five seconds to go, just start hitting refresh. Yeah, you'll get been it. pretty lucky, so we yeah. it every time. Yeah, I set my alarm in, in the morning on Saturdays when I go, <laughs> and I, I get up at about 6.55, and I just wait, click it, get it, go back yep. to bed. <laughs> yep. I wish they like buy the Genie Plus head pack just for like the week. It's like, you gotta do that, you gotta do all the... We have to get out. There's a lot to play. Yeah, everybody has to get yeah. out here. Great spot. Where are you guys heading? Back to Palm Century. Oh, okay. I'm going in the opposite direction. <laughs> Have a great night. Nice to meet you guys. You Enjoy Can the rest of your bye. vacation. Nice yeah, say bye to everybody. Bye. bye. Great to meet you. Nice to meet you. You got to tell Phil that you met me. Corey. Corey, I guess. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Lots of good people in Maine. I was originally born and raised in Massachusetts, and then we raised our kids in Maine for about 10 years. And we came for the sunshine. Yeah. <laughs> you too. Take care. How about that? We know the same people, and they're from Maine. Crazy! All right, we're at the changing station, everybody. It feels like forever since we've been here. Ended up sitting with random people from my hometown at Ogus. It's, it's nuts. It's, it really is a small world. No pun intended, right? Yes, can I get a clear one, please? Yes. Want this one? I would love it. Thank you so much. And so, one time I was out in, where was I? I was out in, hmm, might have been Oregon. Go to the top of a mountain called Crater Lake. There's a couple girls up there. And they were from, I lived outside of Rhode Island. And they were from Rhode Island. Crazy stuff. And then we got to talking or something, and I think I went to Miami for vacation, like, the year before. And I think we put together, like, we went at the same time, and they were, like, neighbors in the hotel. Nuts. April says that's so cool. I know, right? Yep. One, one, one of the guys out there was, I consider him... Like a, like a brother to me. And uh, he's good friends with, well, he knows he knows that guy well that was riding with us. It's nuts. Welcome aboard, Islanders. You are on the Disney Skyliner at Disney's Caribbean Beach Resort. We're flying to Disney's Riviera Resort with continuing flights to Epcot. Hold on to your straw hats. We are about to enter the heart of the Caribbean. Hey, Patrick, Julian, and Sandy, and Mr. Fulton Mraz over at the Vertical Stream. Thanks for checking it out. We are now sailing over Disney's Caribbean Beach Resort, home to a collection of tropical villages inspired by the colorful architecture and lifestyle of the Caribbean islands. Tony ran into people from his hometown in Spain. That's crazy. I had a patient that I re did rehabilitation on that was planning her wedding. In just a minute, we will be arriving at Disney's Riviera Resort, a Disney vacation club that celebrates the relaxing seaports and romantic vistas of Europe's Mediterranean coast. So she was planning her wedding and we got to talking and I was planning my wedding and she got married the day, the week before us 
went to the same resort. Ciao, bonjour, and bienvenue. Hello, and welcome to Disney's Riviera Resort. If you are traveling to Epcot, please remain on board. Uh, went to we we our, our honeymoon was at the same resort in Mexico. We literally passed them in the airport in Mexico. <laughs> they were leaving. We were we were coming in. Kind of crazy. And I did the massages for her and all of her. Um, what do you call it? Her wedding party. And sent them on their way. So that's pretty cool. I ran to somebody in Jamaica. We've stopped. I hear kids. It must be they must be they must be in the pool over there. Yep. Man. Every time I pass a resort, I'm like, I wish I was staying there tonight. Uh, Mike, uh, I currently do home health physical therapy right now. When exiting the cabin, please supervise children, collect your belongings, and watch your steps. Thank you for flying But I have done every form of physical therapy in my career. I've done a lot of outpatient sports medicine, um, done a lot of we're going on. I'm currently seeing a lot of um, post-operative patients, brand new total hips, knees, shoulders, loving that. Um, I've seen people so burnly bad, uh, burned that you don't even, you can't even see their face, like they're totally wrapped. I've seen pediatrics, any kind of therapy you can think of, I've done it for physical. Jen is getting ready for back surgery. Okay. Best of luck from the bottom of my heart. I love it, though. I love home therapy in Florida. My gosh, guys. Psh, days like today. Beautiful sunshine, about 84 degrees. It's like you're outside all day, you know, when, when your patients are healthy enough to take a walk outside. That's part of their therapy to work on balance and walking and visit them in their homes, back on the road, play some tunes, talk to Lawrence, talk to Neil. <laughs> I do a lot of that. Uh, I seem to run to people wherever I go, says Tony. You know, when I lived in my hometown where I grew up, I literally couldn't go to a supermarket, pump gas, go anywhere without knowing at least a small handful of people. Popping in my shoulder was had back dad had back surgery today. Ooh, I hope he does well. Can we ask some questions in private? Uh, actually, yes you can. Can't give advice, but I can give thoughts. I got my legs up, relaxing. I still got some cuts. <laughs> Quadricep cuts. They used to be better than that. I don't even know why these open again. I guess it's, oh, it's for people to enter from here. Oh no, Tammy. You missed Fantasmic, but you did not miss shopping. I didn't do much shopping. Although I did shop in Tattooing, not Tattooing Traders. I shopped in the Droid Depot and a purchase was made. <laughs> But we're going to go shop at Boardwalk. So sit tight there, blue eyes. Miss Living in Diz. Mrs. Living in Diz. Nice hokas. Thank you. I love my hokas. This is the best combination of hokas 
that I have owned because if you all remember when we took you to buy hokas, <laughs> um, I bought uh, inserts Welcome that were almost a hundred bucks. So I was skeptical, but he said it would keep my foot in neutral. And it has. I have not worn these shoes out. I would have worn them out by now. Relax and enjoy the most magical flight on Earth. Love the Skyliner and it's great for scooters. Yes, ma'am. This is great. Tammy loves the Skyliner too. We haven't done the Skyliner together in a while. How can I say this without sounding I don't want to rush it? Because I do not want to rush it. I want to freeze time. I want my kids to stay where they are and continue to enjoy Disney with them. But the, ma the fact of the matter is there's going to come a time sooner than later uh, that... We are now along There's going to come a time when a lot of Saturdays are Tammy and Corey. And I would say maybe occasionally a Tuesdays, Wednesdays, or a Mondays with Tammy. Because it'll just be her and me. Our next venture in life. I'm excited to see what it'll be like to enjoy Disney with just Tammy. What do you think about... Have you even thought about that, Tammy? What's up, Mystic Parks? We miss you, man. I'm sitting here in 80-degree weather. Loving life. Pack your passports. We have your worldly itinerary for today. Uh, what were you trying to say to me, Mike? Eric, I was leaving Magic Kingdom the other night, and I was missing you. It's so weird that we came all the way around. I'm like, what am I looking at? It's a Chinese theater right there. All the way around. There's the Speedway gas station. I have the Bondi 8 and the Bondi SR, and they are great. I'm loving these. And let me tell you, I always tell you all, I always share tips and health, health items and things like that. I just bought the most amazing foot massager. It is heavy duty medical grade. And I will tell you, don't crank it all the way up because I did that and it messed with my nerves a little bit in my shins. <laughs> so now I'm using it at about two, maybe three. And it is amazing. I feel like you ever get a really good. Wait for it to stop. You ever get a really good massage in your feet and it just feels like you're walking on cushions for a while? If you use this machine, you will literally feel like you're walking on cushions for days. And you don't even need to put your feet on it longer than like 10 minutes. Um, what an investment. It's about 250 bucks on Amazon, but you'll never buy another one again. Corey missed the closing of the nights. We'll get back there, Mystic. We'll get back there. What's up, Andy? Good to see you're still alive <laughs> over there. Your eyes aren't closed. I had to hold Tammy's feet to it because she was scared. But uh, she needs to go on that more often for a few minutes. I need a foot massager, says Elisa. Alicia. Daisy Aguero. Coming into view, it's Disney's Hey, Corey, you are the best. The quality of the streams and you as a person. Oh, Mark Anderson, thank you. Um, thank you, Mike. Um, or Mark, Mark Anderson. That those are great words. I, that means the world to me. Um, let me see. I will actually put the link to that massager 
in the chat. How about that? I always want to tell you all about great things. You are planning to visit World Showcase today. Now might be a good time to practice your Hola, Ni Hao's, and Konnichiwa's. When you arrive at each nation's pavilion, cultural hosts... The company is Med Massager... Med, Med Massager... Foot Massage. <laughs> Let me see. Jill... Had to get Jill from work at 9. Oh, okay. She'll put a full day in today. I got a great foot massage when I get my pedicures. I give a good foot massage. I'd give you all a foot massage just to feel it. If I could. For all that don't know, I'm also a massage therapist. Let we me see. We are now arriving at Epcot. To all who come to this place of joy, hope, and friendship, welcome. I wish they would just drop me down in France and we can get right into the World Showcase walkthrough. <laughs> it's pretty cool with the Skyliner that you actually kiss Epcot Please just a little bit. My hot chocolate in my Corksicle, I filled it at 9.30 this morning and it's still warm. Woohoo! Go Corksicles! Thank you for flying with us. I put the link to that massager in there. Let me in Epcot. You know, I was thinking that today. It would have been showcase walkthrough. I'll remember that you said that, Corey. All right, Catherine, I'll give you a foot massage. Thank you. Oh, there's quite the line to uh, get back on the Skyliner. They're all waiting for me. Hello, everyone. <laughs> Kathy's going to check it out. If anybody ends up ordering it, let me know. And let me know if you liked it. Why is Catherine looking for a surprise? Catherine works hard to make shirts as part of this, this pod. Um, thank you. Came all the way over here to open the gate for me. That's sweet. Um... Catherine works so hard in the Diz shop. <laughs> Working wardrobe. Kind of owe her a little bit of a, a massage on that, those feet, those dogs. <laughs> what? Foot massage for Catherine? Oh, we got a few things. Hi. What's up, Disney Daddy-O? Which reminds me, I gotta order something else. It's like my mission now to just have Amazon come to the door every day. That's fine. I will come back here with the Sounds like he's giving you a hard time. Yeah. I was just telling all my yeah. viewers Report that I'll. <laughs> I was just telling all my Report viewers to that. To uh, we were trying to be funny. It wasn't that funny. <laughs> I was just yeah, telling all. That's, that's funny. He thinks he can get a younger. Right, you, you look he like you know what you're doing. Do. You see this group right here? Yes. I need you to take a picture for me. Okay. Never take any care. Pictures. All right. Thank you. All right. Well. Can you put that down for a sec? <laughs> well, I'm live with the world, but. <laughs> Me? What do you I'm mean you're live for the world. On YouTube. <laughs> really? Yeah. He's on YouTube live. You're all on YouTube now. You're gonna have to be on YouTube now. <laughs> you want me to take it? You want me to get it? Yeah. Sure. No, I'm not with them. But if you want to take it, that'd be great because I got a whole. Are you live streaming right now? Yeah. What's yeah. your channel? Living in Diz. D I Z. Look at that. Living in Diz. Living in Diz. Say living in Diz. All right, here we go. Well, no, I'm not him. I'm at Victor's by Carney. <laughs> okay. Nice but to meet you. also a great channel. Here <laughs> Thank we you, go. Sir. All right, everyone ready? We're going to do a few. Three, two, one. We'll give them some oh, light. Keep it going. We'll give you some light. Each. 
Three, two, one. All right, I, don't do a jump because they take two seconds it's dark. But everyone do something crazy. Ready? Three, two, one, go crazy. That was a, that's the best photo you'll have in your life. That's amazing. Thank you, sir. <laughs> All right. See you later. Have fun. <laughs> How have we ever met? What's your name? Uh, Corey. Corey, I'm Pete. Nice to meet you, Pete. Same here. Yeah. We were live streaming earlier. Oh, were you? All right. How long have you been at it? I love it. Uh, we're doing our, what are we doing? Third year, fourth year uh, meetup starting tomorrow night. Yeah, we have uh, okay. a bunch of people come to town, but yeah. Nice. Well, we're, we're young. We're, we're small. We're, we're big. Hey. You what work you at it, you know? Where are your subs at? Uh, 14 one. That's sick. That's awesome. Yeah, we've been doing it for about six years. That's awesome. We have a podcast, too, that we started a little over a year ago. That's amazing. So, that's going strong. Um, here, and I'll give you my card because I would love if you want. Yep. <laughs> I don't to cross streams. No, but I mean, uh, we like to uh, promote everybody. I believe there's plenty of fish in the sea, so I promote everybody's channel. Okay. Do you, I'm sure you know all the guys. Uh, like, uh, you ever do, like, Pete McDevitt or any of those guys? Pete's my boy. Yeah, same here. Pete's same my here. boy. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm yeah, Pete, Pete, and I, Pete and I go way back. We go deep. Trust me on that. Yeah, Pete uh, okay. me on a bunch. I do his sports shows, and I do his uh, okay. other deep stuff. But that's my cell. But, yeah, All let's, right. let's, let's meet up. Let's uh, help each other out. All right, sounds good. Take care. Still live? Yeah. All right, listen, first of all, if anyone hasn't liked or subscribed yet, this is towards, I'm assuming towards the end of the night. I don't know what kind of... Yeah, we'll go for about another hour, hour and a half. Another hour? That's amazing. We're going to walk around and then walk back. Got to do it. You got to do it. sick. Yes, sir. Well, I'm just saying, if anyone hasn't liked or subscribed, uh, I'd like to tell people it is the easiest commitment of all time because it costs you nothing. Yes. If you don't like it, you could always just unsubscribe. Mm -hmm. But why not give it a shot where that way when it pops up, you're just like, oh, this could be a magical fun day and take you away from the worries of the world. So make sure you like this man's video because it'll help him out and subscribe. That's all I'm I saying. appreciate that. And it was a pleasure meeting you. You too, yeah. Good luck Take with the last hour. Yeah, Way thank you. Late night. Got to put it in. Every uh, every work. every Monday, every other Thursday, and then Saturdays, my whole family comes out. We start about 3, 3.30. And take it to like midnight or something. Are you from Orlando? No. Uh, we're originally originally born and raised in Massachusetts, but spent about 10 years in Maine raising the kids, and then we came here. So we've been I here for it. almost seven years. We got a huge mass following on mine, so we gotta, I'll definitely plug you when I'm live too. We, okay. We, we were live earlier. Okay. But now that it's a weekend, we're gonna have a crazy weekend. We got uh -huh. a bunch of people coming to town. So we're gonna pick and choose our live spots. But gotcha. Yeah, we, I'll, I'll definitely let everybody know. Thank you, I appreciate that. I love supporting good people. Sure. Adventures by Carney, guys. Go go, go see what he's all about. We won't stream when he's live. <laughs> I'll tell you for a fact, never on Saturdays. You know what? I, I, <laughs> I'm I, a DJ at Disney Universal SeaWorld. Oh, nice. And for a living, I'm on the mic. Most okay. Of the time. Okay. So, nice. Uh, you might see this big red face just talking on the microphone. Okay. I'll look out for you when I hear the tunes. Yeah. <laughs> we just do weekdays most of the time. Okay. Nice. You run any of the races? Uh, I've run run I've run one. And every time I go on, it's like they're always sold out. So I haven't run one in years. But one of these days, I'll take the live stream with me and we'll run it. Yeah, we've done a few on the 5Ks. It's about as yeah. much as I could do for a live stream. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah, for sure. I agree. I would agree. It's a commitment. It's a commitment. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I gotta learn to have fun on those. Like I'm competitive, so I want to beat the, everybody and not slow fun. down. <laughs> my first Disney 5K ever. I was living in New York. South yeah. Of New York. We came down five yeah. years ago. And uh, my first 5K, I trained for months for. It. Yeah. And then I saw people stopping and talk, like, and take pictures with characters. I'm yeah. Like, like, what are you doing, man? What? It's <laughs> messing with my time. time. <laughs> yeah. Like you're gonna get kicked <laughs> off the course. And they're like, this is a 5K, and I'm like, this is the longest I've ever run in my life. Yeah. Exactly. Take care. Nice meeting you. You too. Sorry for interrupting. No. No worries. This here, Jay says, fun stream tonight. Adventures by Carney is his channel, everybody. I am. Um, we have mutual friends too, so I'm sure his his channel is fine. I've never checked it out, but if you want to check it out, you can go take a peek. This is coming along very slowly, in my opinion. This is the cake bake. Would we call it a restaurant? These are some of the things that they'll be putting out the boardwalk is a little lively so I will say yeah this is cake bake where you're gonna get some really elegant desserts and you know we eat
on this channel, so Tammy's going to want that. She's going to want that. Look at the strawberries and the cream and the cake, Tammy. That's good stuff. So, just some samples. I believe they're based out of Chicago, so they have... They have uh, existing restaurants or a restaurant. Here's the Boardwalk ice cream spot. That's an interesting dessert. Look at this one. It's always ice cream weather here. Look at this. I don't know what that is, but they have some interesting put-togethers here. <laughs> Allison, can you put that in the dictionary? Put-togethers. Some pretty good put-togethers here. They put that one together very well. So Tammy was nice enough, and you have chairs, I mean tables and chairs over here off to the side that you can sit by and enjoy. This is the Boardwalk Deli. Ooh, they have warm breakfast sandwiches. Yum. And specialty coffees from Joffrey's. Uh, that's for breakfast though, I guess. I guess you can't get it now. Limited snacks over here, but we'll go look at the uh, we'll go look at the real deal down here. So as we approach over here, the signal could get a little bit laggy. Everybody, just be patient. Give me a moment to correct it. I will. Once it starts to lag, I'll I'll move from where I am. The pizza window's been open for quite some time now. Back again. Some of the best, was some of the best pizza. I think some might say not as good as it used to be. Oh, we got something going on here. Susie Q. Everybody hold your hands up towards Sophia like this. Both palms up towards Sophia. And everybody just imagine that fork is going to melt right inside of Sophia's hand. Y'all can see from bottom. Imagine that fork is going to melt. And here's the secret, Casey. When you have enough people focused on one idea, you would be amazed at what you can make happen. You want to talk about real magic? Just keep your hands up towards Sophia. Imagine that fork is going to melt. Your hands might tingle. They might get warm. You just pay attention to how this feels. Watch what happens. Keep your hands up towards Sophia. Use the force if you're a Star Wars fan, Sonic. Yeah. About branding. I don't know. I know which way to go with it. Look, I can feel it already. This is a powerful group. Look. Sophia, look, with nothing left. Let's take, let's, so, so everybody take a big deep breath in. Let it out slow. Sophia, look, you can see it starting to go. Look, with nothing, baby. Look, 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 look. Good catch, Sophia, just like rehearsal. Everybody give it up for Sophia for being so brave up here. Now, y'all, before you get out of here, I actually have something very important I have to say to Sophia. This is the most important part of my show. Y'all are all invited to listen, but for the next couple of minutes, I think we can all agree this is just for Sophia. She can listen to me. Now we're at Walt Disney World right now, girl. There's a lot going on. It's Thursday night. Spring break for a lot of people. It's almost a weekend. Blase, blase. I never want you to forget that. I've been looking at Mandy for a long time. I've seen a lot of amazing things. But there ain't nobody in this world that's more amazing than Sophia. Your feet are going to take you all the places. Your hands are going to do amazing things. Your thoughts and your ideas, Sophia, are going to change the world. So and you've just demonstrated to everybody that even if something seems impossible, if you focus on what makes you happy, you're only nothing that you can't do. Now, both of these things are good luck tricks. One half is for you and your family to keep. It's going to bring you a lot of good luck. The other half you get to gift. You get to pay it forward to someone that could use a little good luck. And I think you know exactly who I'm talking about. Now the longer that Sophia keeps these pieces, because of that energy she put in us when we started, Sophia, both of these are going to keep on bending up and twisting up and curling up. The longer you keep them over time, it's just going to keep happening. And another time is the most precious thing. Maybe that's for you, high five. Everybody give it up for Sophia one more time. Here's some here. Thank you, girl. You're a rock star. Try to reel it in though, just a little bit. I think he made the fork bend, and then it then it broke. The dingle hopper. 
I can smell the smells of Boardwalk, everyone. I can smell the smells of Boardwalk. These hotels smell amazing. And when you want to capture this stuff at home, right here. It, we have a link down below working with Magic Candle Company so that you all can get 15% off just by viewing our channel. So the link is down below. You can try all the amazing scents. We have some. I'm sure many of you all have that. You can just check out the link below. And uh, just when I smell those smells, I got to tell you all about it. Very, very amazing. Okay, let's go into here, which is the general store. I wanted to go on this side first because I don't want to miss any of these stores closing. I see you all getting, ex or you all are excited. Some of you are coming to the boardwalk soon. Some of you just came to the boardwalk. Let's see what they have for treats. It's always cold in here too. Ooh, not as cold as I expected. That's a new arrival, that sugar cookie right there for $6.49. Oh, Lawrence said his new scents came in. Did you use the 15% off, Lawrence? Boardwalk is DVC as well, says Tiffany Adventures of a DVC is it fan. Fam, nice. Uh, just looking at treats right now. Yeah, but I'll let you know. Thank you. Oh, that's always a good cookie right there. Tammy, this looks just like what Tammy makes. Tammy, you nailed it. That looks just like the ones in the fridge. Okay, Tammy, now I want you to make these big Mickey cookies. The kitchen sink across the way at Beaches and Cream inside the Beach Club is good. I've never had it. The, the, the scenario has never been right to share that with somebody. We've got some Minnie Mouse Red Velvet Cupcakes. This looks like a Mickey Yellow Cupcake. Some fudge. Oh, I got my Living in Diz discount. Sweet, I'm so glad. Here's the Salted Caramel. 479. Here's the caramel butter bar that you can get in Germany. Some more Werther's. Original caramel pecan cluster. More, and that's the dark chocolate. So there's a dark chocolate and a milk chocolate salted caramel. Susan Sinis Calco says yummy. What's the size of that? Is the size of my head, says Allison. <laughs> right? Apple pie, candy apple. How about that? Whatever you want. All right. There's some goodness there. There's some goodness. I know that salted caramel. Maybe I'll get the salted caramel. I don't think there's anywhere else. We're gonna find some treats this evening. Maybe we'll get one. Although these cookies are good here. I would get the milk chocolate one. They're pricey, but hmm, they're good. It's Disney. They're about this big.
Tammy says, I'm watching you. I'm not bringing it home. Unless you want something. You mean, you might want one of these. Those are good, though. Uh, I suppose we have some other cookies to finish. Maybe I'll pick up one. I think you can get these in the Emporium. Maybe on Saturdays we'll grab one of those. Maybe we'll grab a salt caramel milk chocolate and then we'll move on. Susan says try the cookies. Well, I've tried these. I bring these home often. I have tried those. They're really good. And Tammy makes these now. She mastered them. Or I could, I could get a marshmallow wand. Those are good too. Ah. Bring a treat for Tammy. She said you didn't want one. I bring treats sometimes and then the family doesn't really eat them, so. Court says they all look good. The salted caramel are amazing. Pick them up on Germany when I'm there and bring them home, says Betty. I've cut them into small pieces and make the magic last. Can't wait till August for the next visit. Nice. I think I'll take a salted caramel milk chocolate. Pass all the discount? Good choice. Thank you. I studied it all, you know, and then I made my choice. I did notice that. I've eaten a lot of what's there already. Yeah. My wife has mastered the... Which one? The crispy treat. The s'mores one. Yeah, my favorite so would be the one we, have, we always have them in our fridge now. She she makes them. Oh, uh, yeah. She's like, I've got to master this. Yes. Very nice. Yeah. Can we pour one? Okay. You too. Oh, good night. Enjoy. Thank you. Not Chris. I'm not Chris. I, uh, I'm not Chris Christmas. <laughs> All right. There it is. We're going to try this. We are going to try it. Let's just see if we can see an exclusive Boardwalk merch here. Look at this. Oh, my God. I love it. Hi. How are you? Oh. Hey, you know, don't make her work too hard. This is Disney. <laughs> yeah, you want her to cruise around and meet everybody? Spread the good cheer? <laughs> yeah, doing all right. Can't complain. Busy, busy, busy. How about you? I did. Yeah, I went to uh, Hollywood. How was that? Closed at 9, so I only got there at like 6.30, so. Ah, okay. And it closed, and Fantasmic was at 8.30, so it was like, I had to be in line for like 8, so. Short trip, so I'm like, we're going to Boardwalk tonight. And you're ready to be? Uh-huh. <laughs> I know. I didn't know you were here. Yeah, this is my home location. It's nice. Like, Probably pretty good. Places. Probably pretty chill. Not too busy, right, I imagine? Well, it's been kind of up and down today. But um, typically, you know, on weekends, it'll pick up a little bit. Yeah. It's definitely going to pick up in the summer. Oh, yeah. For sure. Yeah. For sure. And in our lovely board. Oh, nice. Yeah. Nice. And, of course, we got our little thingies back, so. Yeah. You do a lot of trading today? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I love the boardwalk merch though. Yeah, we love it too. Especially our headbands. <laughs> the lounge fly is cool too. Did you smell it? Smell the lounge fly? 
Smell the bow. Really? The bow smells. Let's smell the bow, everybody. Oh, isn't that nice? Is that the first bow to have a scent? I think it might be. Look at that. And the little white dots on the ears glow in the dark. Oh wow! So this is new. This is this is a new one, right? Yes. Okay. That came out around New Year. Okay. Not sure if I had seen it yet. Yeah, all of our merch got to upgrade. Yeah, I like Boardwalk merch. Hold it, hold it. Yes, Corey, we've had that caramel before in Epcot, says Pamela. Got to see what's on the inside. I think it's going to be dots. Oh, it's stripes. I know, we're pretty fancy. What is the scent? Um, I would call it dessert. With a hint of pizza. Dessert with a hint of pizza. It smells like vanilla, like mild vanilla to me. That's a cool bag. Here's a button down, but not a complete Dizpod button down. The Abracadab Bar, which is nearby. We have an ornament, new arrival. That lounge fly with scratch and sniff bow. <laughs> That's what's to come, I guess, everybody. On the back side, you've got Mickey and Minnie. See, these with the silver tag, I feel like are always $34.99. All right, it looks like maybe there's nothing else new here. Wish stuff is 40% off. Let's go take a peek down here. Sneak out and continue on. Yeah, if you ever have the chance to come here and just, just plan on a relaxing night, it's just really, really chill here. Really, really relaxing. I remember when Jill and I came here, really as COVID was barely winding down, when Disney finally opened, Jill and I came here, we were the only ones on Boardwalk. For as far as the eye could see. And we sat down and brought our lunch and ate over there. And we were live. It's somewhere. It's somewhere in the annals of the channel. Annals of the channel. So there's different games that you can play. Anyone know where to find the up ears that have balloons? Um... I don't know when the last time I saw those for sure was. We'll keep an eye out, though. Sometimes you can find them in weird places like this, too. We're going to... Oh, I don't know if we'll make it. We'll go see if... We're going to walk around this way. We'll go see if in the Yacht and Beach Club stores, if they're open still. If they have them. Corey is way too popular to sneak around any place, says Theo. <laughs> See that? I ran into somebody. Purple Ashore is leaving. Thanks for being here. Look at all these boats all at once. All right, I need a bite of this. Let's take a bite of this caramel first. And I think it's time, Corey, you the best. <laughs> Thank you. 
Uh, I think it's time for a battery. So we'll do that too. There's, here's the Blocko chocolate. Salted caramel, there's the salt. Oh, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm you know where we're going with this, right? That's the Diz Kiss right there. That's the five out of five Mickey's right there. I'm just, I'm just gonna savor that for a moment. That's yum. That's yum right there. Ooh. All right, let's get a battery. Kira plays in the background. Vlogmen, not to be weird, but I'm right near you right now, if this is Orlando. Well, like Elsa says, show yourself. Mm, the salt is crunchy. Corey, my family stayed at the DVC at Boardwalk three weeks after Disney reopened during COVID. Like you said, there was no one there. Yeah, it was pretty cool. It was pretty cool. All right, let's plug you all in. I kind of feel like I need another bite for the road. Boy, that salt is chunky, so you kind of discover it. It shows up again when you think it's gone and dissolved. It doesn't dissolve so quickly, which is nice. Oh, Corey, show your hat. Okay. So I pulled out a hat from the archives today. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, I've had a request to show it? Okay. I thought I might tonight. All right, here we go. So it's Toy Story. And here's the, here's the underside of the lid. The exact moment that I bought that hat. I was looking at it at the end of the night in Hollywood Studios. And I think I said, you know, maybe I'll get it sometime. And then Ann Gilnack dropped a PayPal and said, go get the hat. <laughs> so I did. So what's nice about the chunky salt is that, like I said, even as the chocolate wears off and the caramel is dissolving, you get these little hits of salt, which is very nice. I'm going to savor this a little bit. Yep, battery's good now. Leaf on the wind. Blast the chef a leaf on the wind for that $10 super chat that says, Love the boardwalk. We frequently stay at the Swan and hang out there. Sweet hat. Thank you so much. Thank you, Andy. We love you, buddy. We'll see you soon. We'll see you on Saturdays, live from Magic Kingdom. How you doing? Hey, good. How good. Are you? good. Did you just get married? We got our engagement photos taken. Oh, congratulations. Is it me or am I interacting with way more people tonight than ever? Is it because Neil's not with me? <laughs> that has nothing to do with it. 
I'm focused on everyone. Swan and dolphin. Of course, Leaf on the Wind always has a great name. Love that name. I am so, I hope you are all relaxed too because you just feel a nice sense of relaxation here at the boardwalk. My son will be over 21 for the first time when we are at Disney in May. He's looking forward to jelly rolls. Will you do a little drinking around the world with him as well? Lawrence did that with his, his young man. Look at this. Look at Spaceship Earth. We own DVC at Boardwalk and love the stays there. It truly feels like a second home for us, says AGT. AJT. That's nice. So, we got gifted by a, a good friend of mine, USC Greg, two weeks ago. At uh, and We had a choice. One, a couple of the choices was Boardwalk or Grand Flow, and I chose Grand Flow this time. Because... It's grand flow. <laughs> but um, we may have the chance to stay here too um, sometime in the future. So Boardwalk has, has moved up the list. Um, I've stayed in almost all DVCs at this point. Trying to get to them all. Done. I did these two. I knocked these two out pretty quick last summer. One of them was with Lawrence. It was funny, like, I think I was invited within the same week, Lawrence, wasn't I? I stayed with you. At the yacht side. And then I stayed on the beach side. Disney Adventure Home says we've never been to Boardwalk. In fact, the only resort I've been to is AK. They're all so beautiful, says Jennifer. Corey Funny, you asked about drinking around the world. He's looking forward to a beer in Germany specifically. Okay. I don't know if I'll do that with my kids because, you know, I say Tammy and I don't drink. We just haven't dr It's so funny. A friend of mine, a dear friend of mine who's passed away a long time ago, said something to me. And it's super true. Super true. He says, you, you only drink out of the country. And I was like, this is before kids. And I was like, no, I don't. No, I don't. But we, we do. Like when we go to these all-inclusive resorts in the Caribbean and it's you know, all the drinks taken care of and all that stuff. Tammy and I will have a couple during the day, maybe one at night. And that's the extent of it. And it's like, we come back to, um, the U S and then it's like, nah, we don't get too serious with it though when we're there. So I don't know. Maybe, maybe that's the first time that would only be the second time the kids have ever seen us have a drink. In their lives. We're just not into it much. But maybe when the kids turn 21. They want to try it. Maybe we'll do it. Riding the bike around there is fun. Going over the bridge is a challenge though. <laughs> ah, I want to see that. Had dinner with Corey and the fam at Boardwalk. We really. We did in the scariest time of our channel ever. And you can see the food review up on the channel. Flying Fish, amazing restaurant. Um, Ruben and Susie, we had such an amazing time with you guys. And we didn't live stream it because we didn't have a channel um, for about, what, five days. It was when our channel was, um, was uh, hijacked. Scary times. Scary times. It's time for another bite of this salted caramel. 
Tammy will be proud that I'm not bringing it home. Tonight has been so relaxing, says Alicia. What a what a perfect plan, right? Um, I mean, I looked at what uh, Hollywood Studios had going on. You know, one show for Fantasmic. I got there later. I'm like, it's going to be one hour in the park. And then waiting in line, then Fantasmic and done. I'm like, I cannot end the stream at like 9.30 the latest. I'm like, this is a night to go over to Boardwalk. And what a beautiful night it is. So this has been great. Looks like our Disney World Fix is watching me. What's up, Aaron? For all I know, Aaron's going to pop out from one of these bushes. I think Aaron is my biggest stalker. <laughs> Joking, of course. Alicia drinks once in a while. Yeah, nothing wrong with that if you do it responsibly, for sure. So we're entering the Yacht Club. We'll take a peek in here. Always watching, Corey. Always watching. Lake Brian Vista, welcome. Says, what happened with Luminous? Um, so things happen with copyrights. Sometimes with these shows when they're newer. And when that get all, all gets established, I guess. Um, all of a sudden, anybody filming it will get a hard shutdown on that. Um... I'm confident that that will be fixed. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm confident that those things will be fixed so we're able to show it. But until then, we have to kind of wait until that gets taken care of. Aaron is the paparazzi, says Tammy. <laughs> Look at this globe. I have wanted to take you all here to eat one night over at the Allen Compass Lounge. I've never tried that. Let's spin this globe. Sir, I just wanted to let you know for your video, you're sitting on a giant hidden Mickey right now. I never knew that, and I've walked on this rug a million times. Yep. Oh, yes. in the globe as well. Oh, boy. near Madagascar. I could be wrong, but there's two hidden Mickey's in the globe. Thanks for sharing that. Thank you. All right, everybody, where's Madagascar? It's like Africa, right? I'm bad with geography. I'm a man of science. There's a hidden Mickey in Madagascar. I know you're all smart. Somebody will know. Exactly, the music. The music is copywritten, so... But they usually work that out. Here's Madagascar. Is that the hidden Mickey right there? I'm going to call that the hidden Mickey. And then right here. City, there's a hidden Mickey. I knew it. Ah, See? See the ear and the head and the ear. I never knew that in the ocean. Blast the chat for my um, our Disney World fix for the four ninety nine super chat. It says Corey, I wish I could pop out tonight, but alas, I'm at home. <laughs> I always like going up here to take a peek. I am. Thank you for the help, everybody. I am proud that I found it on my own, but I knew you all would help. When you spot the Max photo prop, take a picture with him and head to the front desk for a button. Oh, look at that. Madagascar, great cool club beverage. <laughs> Welcome everyone that's new here tonight. I hope that you subscribed and joined a great community here. We have a great community that's been around for almost six years now. We'll be celebrating six years this coming summer. 
as part of the greatest summer, the greatest year for our channel. Let's look at the lobby from above. You can see that hidden Mickey a little bit better. Okay, now, all right, let's go this way. Mystic Park says, very nice view. Okay, just wanted to pop in. See you soon, Corey. Sounds good, Aaron, have a great night. Hey, Ann Gilnack. Ann must have been out with family tonight. Love the scent of the beach club. I don't love the scent of the yacht club much. It's almost like it doesn't have one. We have had the distinct pleasure of eating over here at the Yachtsman. Wonderful steak. There's a poll in chat. Favorite boardwalk area resort? Boardwalk, yacht club, beach club, or swan and dolphin? Thank you, Lawrence, for throwing up that poll. Can I park my yacht at the yacht club when I visit next time? <laughs> I have connections, sure. We'll, we'll make it happen. Oh, this pool is so well lit. Tony says this is my kind of place. <laughs> I've never stayed in any of them, so I'm not sure. You can go by what you've seen on stream. I think that's kind of fair. So listen to this, everybody. I haven't even had a chance to tell Tammy about this. There's something that's new to me. I think it's new overall. Have you heard of Resort Pass yet in Orlando? I don't even, I haven't had a chance to talk to Lawrence about this. I saw this on social media. I'm trying to figure out if this is worth it. Resort Pass. And it's kind of something that I, I had this idea about Disney when we became annual pass holders like five years ago. Like, I always said, I wish Disney would give annual pass holders like even once a month, a chance to just come for the day and say, if I want to use it on Beach Club, I can come and enjoy the pool for, for the day. And that's it. And that's use of my, my privilege. Wouldn't that be so cool? So Resort Pass, and I guess you go to ResortPass.com, Resort Pass allows you to pay a fee. So different resorts, not on Disney property, but around Orlando, like really nice ones. Um, you can pay like $25 a day, I saw. You can pay $45 a day, and you get all the amenities that guests staying overnight get to take advantage of. What do you all think about that?
Is it like a class pass? So it's it's one it's a one day pass, and you can you can just use their amenities, use the pool and whatever else they offer, the sauna, whatever. I think it's pretty cool if you're willing to pay the money and just spend the day at the resort, show up early. I'd be willing to try it. We have, I have a massive amount of time off this summer. Massive. So I don't think we'll be going away for all three weeks of my vacation. So you all will probably get some weird time streams. You might get some streams during the week. I think it's great for people to live who live there. They can do that as they staycation. Yeah, like you don't have to pay the cost of sleeping in in the hotel, but you can use the amenities. That's at least something to talk to Tammy about. See if we want to just do it one day. See if we like it. Now this smells amazing here at the Beach Club. And that's what I'm talking about. You want to take advantage of that 15% off? That discount we got for you all, just go get it. Go get it from Magic Candle Company. This is about, this could be my favorite scent. Did you get some Beach Club, Lawrence? Ooh, I just got a big bite of chocolate, caramel, and salt. Come to daddy, yum, yum, yum. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. This is a cool concept. I like being fed while Walking and streaming. Look at all the perfect umbrellas ready for tomorrow. Yeah, the Martha's Vineyard. You know that Martha's Vineyard eatery right there? Is the first place I ever had cornbread with clam chowder. Lawrence, why do I see you on the vertical? Here's Cape May. Great breakfast. So so dinner. I wasn't crazy about it. One of the few places I didn't give a they didn't get a Mickey's kiss from me, that's for sure. But maybe another time. Oh, looks like Swan and Dolphin participates in the resort pass. Really? Okay. There's so much to do and see in the state of Florida. I resided down there. I'd try one of those passes, says Anne. Okay. I think it might be worth checking out. How you doing? Came and ate here one morning with Lawrence and Catherine and Jillian. We stayed at the uh, beach club. And uh, cool. Like, here's a tip. Tip number 619. If you're staying in a resort and you don't have a, re a reservation to eat, just go and ask them if they have an opening for a table. We came down just looking for dinner anywhere. I mean, breakfast anywhere. And they were like, yeah, we'll see you in about 20 minutes. And we sat in about five minutes. Had a wonderful character breakfast. That was when Goofy and I and Jill sprinted across the, re the restaurant because Goofy wanted to show us something. That was pretty cool. Look at that. $40 a day. $300 for a cabana. Is that only for locals? Um, so Cargo, maybe Spaceship Horizon could answer that. But I'm going to say no. I don't think it is. But don't quote me. Also, if you look into the Magic Candle Company scents, read read about it closely because they will they will tell you that certain scents um, are, are used in more than one place
Let's see what we can find at the Beach Club Marketplace. I've been burning my French Riviera candle from there, says Jennifer. Pirates is good too. I'll tell you the one cent to not buy. Don't buy burning Rome or Rome is burning. We bought that and we opened it and I'm like, close that up. You don't want to burn that. It would smell like your house had a major fire in it. Look at this. Very cute. Up, oh, looking for those up ears. Definitely. Waldorf, 200 for a day bed. Whoa. Yeah, the ESPN restaurant. They they should have kept it. They should have just like torn it down from the on the inside and built it right back up again. With with they could have done they really could have done really well with a new ESPN. Brand new TVs. Find something that's like state of the art and incorporated in it. Something something that would want to make people go and really check it out. They have that's my favorite store on property. They have so much stuff as a Suzuki. Nineteen ninety nine for that mug. Every day is a Sunday. We used to get Tervises all the time, but then we met Corksicle. I love Magic Candle Company. I'm never without the Polly and Grand Flow sense. It makes me miss Disney just a little less. That's 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 why it exists. That's the way to do it. There's a new lounge fly right there, but it might be the only one. Oops, did I do that? Uh, no, you're all good. Sorry. Look at this. Let's smell the bow. Oh my god, the smell it, it smells. The bow smells like vanilla to me. We now have stinky bows, everybody. I like this shop in Bayview Gifts. At Contemporary, you can usually find things in both that aren't in the parks. That is that's what makes some of these and that's the way it should be, right? In some of these in all of the resort um, stores. Some things that you can't find in the parks. Makes you feel a little bit more special when you find them. Alright. Now it's time to decide what's on the inside. I think it's going to be more ice cream cones and sundaes. Oh, 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 right? My guessing percentage is high. Love it. Love that game. Excuse me. Uh, it looks good. Get it. <laughs> Let's look at some pins. I like this set. Oh, Jennifer says Corey got it. I always get excited when I when I pick it. The family and I love doing that. No pockets, like fidget. No daughter complain pockets are too small. Yes, sometimes they are. Oh, blast the chat for 250 likes, everybody. Thank you so much for getting us there. We appreciate that. <laughs> well, number 
Jill says, very cute bag. Taste of some pins. This is a Nemo collection I have not seen. Reversible. I think all bucket hats should be reversible. $24.99 for the kiddos. Here's a hoodie. Those up ears are not here. This is new. Bucket hat would be adorable on Jill. Jill makes everything adorable, doesn't she? Ooh, break it, you buy it. <laughs> mine, 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 mine. Man, tomorrow's already Friday. That shirt's probably a little fitting for me, but I don't get angry when I'm hungry. Jill gets hangry. And here's a pink one. So, let me, before we leave this resort, let me look. Tammy could wash the dishes. She needs dish gloves. Right? <laughs> Tammy still needs a reacher so she doesn't fall into the um, washing machine like she did last week. I got to get her a reacher. So let's see. This hallway. Let me see if, if I went the right way. Um, I went the wrong way. Love the old time bathing suits. Look at that. Fried is to be exact. That's right. The angry t-shirt is made for you, says Han. Good night, Jacob. Thanks for being here with us. Oh, this is this is the hallway I'm I'm looking for. I mean, I just get Titanic feels. I say it all the time. The solarium. I get Titanic feels when I come down here, right? Look at this. No, I need a dishwasher, says Tammy. <laughs> that has nothing to do with with the washing machine. Hello. <gasps> what are they watching over here? See, and it opens up into a pretty cool area. A dishwasher that's not filled with cups. I'm on it. We're going to fix that. Can anybody comment on that for Ellis and let him know? It's called a grabber, Corey. <laughs> yes, I, what did I call it? Did I say a reacher? Because they're reachers too. Yep, Tammy needs one. I agree with you, Corey. Titanic feels, yeah.
have a good night. Thank you everybody for helping him out on that pet friendly information. You said I needed the gloves to do the dishes, but I need a dishwasher <laughs> that's not filled with cups. You don't use the dishwasher, to be fair. Okay, your choice, everybody, before I get to the end here. Quick, do we go left or right? We got to get back to that spot. You know what? We're going to go this way. No choice. <laughs> it's shorter. I agree. Such a peaceful evening. <clears throat> oh, I was saying earlier, Tammy, Tammy's so good. She picked me up some Starbucks. And it's in the car, waiting for me. It's in my corksicle with some ice. Because we can't really get Starbucks when we're at Hollywood. On the way out. I wish they would do a test run on that and just keep Starbucks open until everybody's gone. See if they would actually make a bunch of money. Because I think they would. No, no, no. It's not because it's filled with cups. You didn't use it when it was empty. So this pool has a sandy bottom. Look how cool this is. Beach Club has a cool swimming pool. This is the be this is my favorite swimming pool on Disney property. Right here. Love it, love it, love it. Hands down. This is the best. Because I love Caribbean resorts too that have pools like this. Love that. One time I was in this pool and Hat pulled down, just chilling, floating. And then a mom and a daughter came over from the bar and said, Oh my God, I thought that was you. <laughs> it's one thing to be spotted while you have the gimbal in the parks, but when you're somewhere else, that's when it's like, wow. It's never been empty. She does not tell the truth. Okay, I'm going to empty that thing. We'll see how long it takes her to, to use it. The challenge is on. What's up, Lilo Stitch? I'd be paranoid. I'd be surrounded by security trying to figure out why it's still there. Oh, he's talking to Lawrence. <laughs> and says, wow, Tammy, really? There's the lighthouse. Which you can walk down. But this is, a, this is amazing. This is all wood. All the way around. wonder how long it took to make that. All individual pieces of wood. Jacob says that pool is awesome. It's my favorite here on Disney property. We hope to stay at one of, uh, at the one next if we stay in that area. Boardwalk was really nice. So Tammy, did you hear me talking about how um, they have the new resort pass where you can pay a fee for the day and go to a resort and use their amenities. I don't know if that's something we should try this summer. 
So it could be like 40 bucks a person to stay at like a really nice Orlando hotel with an amazing pool and all that. Hmm. Might be worth a try once. See if we liked it. You get you get use of everything like you stayed the night. I suppose though, you have to look at it, right? Let's th- let's just do some theorization. Is that a di- is that a word? If not, we need Allison to put that in the dictionary. So let's theorize that. What if it's fifty bucks a person per day to stay at a pretty nice Orlando hotel? But we're a family of four. So what if the price to stay in there is like one seventy five for a night? All of a sudden, it's less to stay the night and use the amenities than just use the amenities for the day. So I guess you need to cross-check those things before you commit like that. But, you know, it could be that these these places are hundreds of dollars a night and you're really making out. They're not stupid, so it's probably more that way than anything. Love this whole area. It's so relaxing. The, yeah, there were times where I, I brought you all out here after Hollywood Studios night. So we'll do. We'll get back to doing that um, here and there when we get one of these nights where Fantasmic is one show and you know park closes at nine. Swan and Dolphin sometimes has deals with the Marriott. Oh, okay. One thing we always make sure we do when we stay on property is, if we have a balcony, is is to spend time at night on the balcony. In the morning, you know, with a coffee maybe. You gotta appreciate the views. Love the sign over here. When we were there last month, I considered purchasing one night at Yacht Yacht Club just to use the pool. We weren't even going to stay there because we already were staying at Bay Lake Tower. Like I said, I don't know. There's a lot of pass holders, so it probably wouldn't work. But even if it was to any capacity for a year of an annual pass, whether you go one day a year to use at a resort for the day twice a year you know something like that that'd be awesome that'd be a really cool perk I mean and they could regulate it you know they could open dates or something and then you put in for it you know maybe even limit the hours right they could say the pool will be available to annual pass holders who want to take advantage of their day from pool open to like five or something. Because the fact of the matter is, there are most people leave for the day. I mean, there's people that have resort days, but there are a lot of people that leave for the parks. So those could be some hours you could take advantage of. My dream retirement job is driving the friendship boats. Oh, wow, Robert. I hope you achieve that. I thought that I wanted to work for Disney, too, once I retired. Now I'm starting to succumb to the fact that I have worked so hard in my life that I think I'm just going to want to totally retire and not work at all. If I do anything, it'll be things for myself, like writing. Um, Maybe that's when I have time to do voiceover work if I still want to do it. Uh, I'll do things to keep myself busy, but I don't know if I want a commitment. But I wouldn't totally rule out maybe being a cast member for three days a week or something. 
But what would I do in a retirement job? You wouldn't want much responsibility. I don't know. Uncle Aardvark, welcome. Tammy said when you and I retire, we would work at the Christmas tree shop. I mean, the Christmas shop. Okay. I could do that. I don't know if I'd want to ring people up and deal with money anymore. I did that when I was younger. I'm trying to think of what are some super easy jobs here. But because you're like here and you could say you're a cast member, you were a cast member once. <sighs> kind of would want to be in the parks. I don't know, I'm kind of hype, hyping myself up about it now. <laughs> we couldn't guarantee working together, but I'd be more inclined to do it if Lawrence and I worked together. Corey, you're doing your retirement gig right now. Um, it could be. It could be. I wouldn't go crazy with it. I'd probably still stay with like two or three times a week, maybe. So, if I did it, here we can take a peek at this pool before we go. This pool is still open. Kudos to Disney staying open, keeping the pools open until 11. Yeah. Hi, how are you? Yeah, how are you? We're just peeking. Oh, yeah. I said kudos to you for staying open till 11. That's oh, yeah, good stuff. Yeah. Uh, there was a time though. There was a time where the pools were closing at like 10 though. That's our winter hours. So we have daylight savings. So during uh, spring forward, we okay. are 10 to 11 and then okay. fall back, we're 10 to 10. Good to know. Earlier. All right. And then we'll put that together. Good to know. Awesome. Our children's activities changes seasonally. Mm -hmm. Sunset, campfire, movie, all that. They kind of have to do it closer to sunset. Oh, okay. So you can see the movie Makes sense. Cool. Yeah. I haven't stayed. This is one of the resorts I haven't stayed at yet. But when I do, yeah. I'll I'll chill out in this pool for sure. I love it over here. It's very calm compared to Yacht Beach. Because Yacht Beach and Boardwalk are the same region. Uh-huh. So all of them are the blue shorts, red shorts. Um, work on both sides. Oh, okay. Yes. It's the whole boardwalk vibe too. It's yes. just so chill. But that is my favorite pool over there, though, to, oh, to swim in. That. Yeah. I, my family, I was like, hey, y'all come down a day early. I'll book us at yacht. We stayed there for one night. My sister's little. Yeah. What'd you say? I looked at my sister and I said, I'm not climbing those stairs again. I gotta work tomorrow. Uh, I'm good. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Well, enjoy your night. You too. Take care. More interaction with people today. <laughs> he was nice. Finished washing my dishes to sell cargo. <laughs> Going back and forth. The Mickey Sweat Factor is down to 
Look at this whole structure looking like a roller coaster. They took the scary clown face out of the end of the slide for some reason. So, I had a nightmare of a time going home on Monday night, Mondays. I was halfway home, and there was a major accident, like so bad, the police came across the median and blocked us all, and then told us we had to go across the median and go the other way. I literally had to come back to Disney and get on the main highway to go home. So... I think I got home, I think that put me an hour out of the way. Got back home an hour later, that was tough. Coming here today, I couldn't even get out of my town because of a massive accident. I was like, what is going on dealing with Disney this week? Hopefully it'll be smooth sailing tonight. The clown with spaghetti hair, <laughs> SpaghettiOs, yes. Years ago, the pools didn't close. They just had a sign, use it at your own risk. I remember you telling us that on the Zoom call, I think, Ann. Yep. I think as long as you're quiet, the pools should not close. I can remember a few, not even a few years ago, a couple years ago, we stayed at Copper Creek over at Wilderness Lodge. And we were over in the, Jill and I were over in one of the pools. And they closed at midnight, but, or 11. Um, but the cast members left and it was us and it was a couple of other people, one more family, maybe two that were still hanging in the pool. So I'm like, okay. So we just hung in the pool till like midnight and then we got out. I'm always a little skeptical right here walking back. For gators. <laughs> Play, prayers for those car accidents. Yes, number one. We certainly want to acknowledge those that were involved and hope that nobody was tragically involved. Oh, look at this. It's like, run. look at this, run Disney all set up here. Tables, water. Look at all that water wrapped. I could use a water. No. Look at that. 10 miler water stop. Look at that. Wow. What car accident? Just car accidents on the way home. Today on the way here. Pole at Treehouse is the pole at Treehouse is 24 hours. What does that mean? The pool, though the pool, oh the pool at Treehouse Villas is 24 hours. Okay, we didn't get to do that one. Any comments on the war happening tonight? Um, not sure what you're talking about. But if it's political, we don't. We don't really do any of that on this channel. Not the forum for it. Oh, it stinks over here. Pew pew. Did I just say pew pew? <laughs> it's a little swampish over here. I saw a gator today, just flowing along the water. I saw one floating in town yesterday. Tiny body of water. Looked over while I was driving and he was just cruising along. You never know.
Yep, that's a lot of... <laughs> Allison telling me to run. We have higher walls now, so we should be okay. Not gonna lie, though. I'm aware. <laughs> and that's kind of creepy, right? You got the cars running over you. But this is how you walk from boardwalk to Hollywood. I mean, I, I don't mind the walk. I would do this if I was staying at boardwalk. So if we get a chance to, to stay at boardwalk, um, if the family's up for it, I might just walk over and then walk back. So we can say, what a great night this turned out to be. It could have been really short over at Hollywood, closing at 9. But we came in um, always happy about how efficient we can be with our time. I mean, we came in, what? I'm going to say we started 6.45? We started at 6.50 tonight. Let's just call it 7. And from 7 o'clock to 9 o'clock, we did Smuggler's Run. Got to pilot with my little guy, Kieran, who did an amazing job. Um, I believe Kieran was um, autistic. Also. Uh, really love the fact that he called me by my name multiple times. Great young man. And I don't know if that was his brother with him or not, but great young men. And uh, had a lot of fun with them and their family. Then we went over and did Star Tours, and I got to see Mandalorian. I really didn't get to see it the first time. I was paying attention to the stream, trying to fix the glasses. So, really funny. I think that's the best transmission ever. I think Jacob would beg to differ on that one. I always keep an eye out for Critters in Florida, says Ann. <laughs> yeah, we have moved into their territory. Uh, good night, Jacob. And uh, then we, we really didn't stand in a long line, to much, much to my surprise, for Fantasmic. We walked right in. We had great seats, considering. And took the Skyliner, so we get to ride the Skyliner tonight. Met some people from Maine, Tammy. Tammy, are you watching? I met people that know Phil. Are you kidding me? <laughs> they have a business in Brewer. One of them's a teacher in Brewer. Um, we enjoyed Boardwalk for a while, did some shopping over there, tried a treat, did some board, uh, well, we didn't do the Boardwalk Hotel, but we did Yacht and Beach, did some shopping in there, and had this wonderful walk all the way back with all of you. I will have to rewatch the stream later. Absolutely, Anne. Give me, Anne's always great. She'll come back and comment, give a report. So, we had an amazing this time, everybody. Our next time live is less than 48 hours from now. That's crazy, right? Because we're not full time. Less than 40 hours from now, we will be live at Magic Kingdom. So, that counts for, that accounts for a, a long stream. Let me take a look right now and see how late Magic is open. I'm hoping for, I'm hoping for, huh? Huh? Listen. I hear Fantasmic. That's got to be rehearsal. Wow. Fantasmic. Do you all hear it? The Moana song just ended. Um, so magic is open till 11. So. That scared me. There was a lump right there. I was like, oh my God, what is that? But it's nothing. <laughs> I usually walk through here, no problem. You ever scare yourself? So, um, yeah. 
Oh, yep, yeah. here come the princesses. Unexpectedly, tale as old as time. Um, so yeah, we, we get, we get Magic Kingdom till 11, everybody, so look for us to start that stream sometime in the 3 o'clock hour, um, at the latest, and we will, let's see, we will, we'll go to, like, midnight. So it will be amazed is. Thank you so much for joining me tonight, everybody. Hope you all had an amazing time. I know you all. Nice relaxing time. It's a lot of fun. I love you all. We talked a lot, right? We talked to people. Uh, we enjoyed meeting new friends. And I talked to all of you like nonstop. A nice relaxing stream tonight, Corey. Thank you. You're so welcome. I really am glad when we can mix it up. I know people love to see the parks. I know I love to do the parks. But it's always a good feeling when we come out knowing that we did something just a little bit different. So... Jennifer says, such a th fun stream. So, Cargo, so great to be seeing you lately. Thanks for stopping by and coming on in and hanging out with us. Hopefully, we'll see you again on Saturdays. She says, laugh out loud, Corey. I did that tonight. Saw a pile of leaves and thought it was a skunk. <laughs> I thought that was a gator. Um, so, so much fun. I love you all. And if you're new here, definitely subscribe. This is how we do things. We just love sharing Disney. And uh, we have lots more to come in years to come. Thank you so much for another Amazed Is stream. Thank you so much, Court. Court is definitely part of this family. She showed up like, what, two, three weeks ago, and she's been here all the time. I just like to let people know that, I, that none of that goes unnoticed. Love it, love it, love it. Is Neil joining me on Saturday? I'm not sure. We'll have to see if he has a gig. I don't think so, though. Disney Adventure Home, have a wonderful night. Ian Hart, Jennifer L., Michelle, all of our... Uh, all of our moderators, ninja watchers, all of you, love you all. If you are a uh, LID Club member of the Magical um, Express and higher, uh, I can't remember when we last updated. Not of the last couple of days, but you should see your name in the credits. And if not, you'll see it on Saturdays. Have a wonderful rest of your night, everyone. It means the world to us that you hang out with us. You, you could do a lot of other different things and you spend time with me here at the parks and on Disney property. It means the world. So for now, we'll see you on Saturday. For Tammy and Mushu and Tammy and Jacob and Tammy and Jillian and Tammy and Tammy. And don't forget Tammy, who I am going to clean out her uh, dishwasher so she can do dishes. Uh, I'm Corey from Living in Diz. And we'll see you in the parks. Good night, everyone. Good night. And we also forgot to thank Disney for allowing us to stream because it is a privilege and not a right. Thank you all for enjoying Disney through the eyes of our family.